Get ready to match the star. Avery Schreiber. Brett Summer. Charles Nelson Riley. Nancy Colt. Richard Dawson. And from Big John, Little John, Joyce Villafuan. As we play the star-studded big money match game, BM. And now, here's the star of match game, BM, Gene Rayburn. Hello there, friends. Well, I thank you. With the presence of all of these beautiful, gifted people on this stage, I guarantee you're going to have a few laughs here. Just say a fast hello to the panel and go over and greet the uh, civilians. No, he's not a civilian, is he? Colonel Jerry Birch and Wendy Lehman. Hello there. Now we want to find out a little bit about each of you. We'll begin with you, Wendy. Okie dokie. I... I'm a former airline hostess who married a carpenter, who quit that for carpenter, of course. Then I became a school bus driver, quit that to become a mommy of a little boy named Oakley, who's 10 months old and who's going to have a little sister or brother in March. And <laughs> we have the high school department at our church we're in charge of. And we love snow skiing, water skiing, and in my spare time, I love to make lead glass windows. <laughs> I didn't understand a word she said. <laughs> well, welcome anyway, Wendy. Thank you, Brett. How about you, Colonel? Well, professional soldier, 34 years. Mm. I have five children, six grandchildren. I live in Chatsworth. I have one young son at home and a daughter in the Army. Now, listen, we're going to give each of you three chances to match as many of our celebrities as you can. And the one who has matched the most at the end of the third round will will be the winner and will go on to play the Big Money Super Match, which can pay off over $10,000. All right. Now, Wendy. Bing, there it is. You're going to go first. You've got a selection, A or B. I shall take A, please. A it is, and here we go. 102-year-old Mr. Periwinkle said... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Go ahead, hon. Do the it. Joke. Weak. My father is getting married. <laughs> he says he's taking me along on his honeymoon. I'm going to blank. <laughs> oh, I come over here and do it again. 102 year old Mr. Perry will say, Next week, my father is getting married. He's taking me along on his honeymoon. I'm going to blank. Well, I'm going to start without you. Brett? Sure, dear. Okay. That's what you told me last week. <laughs> now, Wendy, you watch this program, right? Yes, yes. You've heard of Mr. Periwinkle? Obviously. Hunter, do you know? Yep. He said, next week, my father is getting married. He's taking me along on his honeymoon. I'm going to blank. Chaperone. Cha <laughs> what? Oh, what? Yeah. Chaperone. Yeah. 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 Oh. Going to chaperone. That's a lovely thought, isn't it? I figured he's going to assist. Assist. Yeah. Yeah. Naturally. Chaperone is a fabulous Excellent. answer. She's cute. Thing. I understood every word she said. Now, wait a minute. I find out what it... Oh, well, no wonder I thought it Yay. was good. I said chaperone the bridal couple. Chaperone Thank the bridal you. couple. One for her. I said I'm going to watch. <laughs> Him. He has no romance. Isn't he the cut-up? Well, he is a cut-up, and yeah. I'm, I'm such an emotional creature, and the way you read that moved me so yes. that I, pardon me, I said, I'm going to faint. Oh. <laughs> Take me along on his honeymoon, I'm going to faint. What'd you say? I said I was going to understudy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you good one, you the best you can. What do you say, little girl? You I got kind of mixed up. You didn't understand the question? I said that he was going to be the ring bearer. Oh, oh you are a ding-a-ling. Well, I'm glad you hey, ding-a-ling. Well, Dear me. Well, there it is. Now, let's see. You did one. 
Colonel, here's your first one. Here we go. The director said to the star, how did you ever get to be such a terrible actor? And the star said, easy, I took lessons from bl blank. <laughs> from blank. How did you get to be such a... How, how did you ever get to be such a terrible actor? And the star said, easy, I took lessons from blank. Okay? Anytime, Joyce. Oh, really? It's going to be a three-part answer. The director said to the star, How'd you ever get to be such a terrible actor? And the star said, Easy, I took lessons from blank. You. <laughs> you were right, my son. You mean you? No, we meant. The answer is you. Would you clarify that? <laughs> You said the gentleman was the director. Right. He said the star was such a terrible actor. Yeah. He said, how'd you get that way? He says, easy, I took lessons from you. Okay. Right. You took lessons what from, the from the director. What a terrific right. answer, another okay. wonderful answer. Yes, very good answer. Well, I listened to your argument to me a moment ago, and I had to list you. Me? <laughs> me? <laughs> <laughs> what did you put down? Don't yay that answer. <laughs> Face it, Gene. Face it. Your tires are going to be slashed tonight in a parking lot. Yes. What do you say? As soon as we get to Encino, honey, I'll perk you right up. Okay. I said, I took lessons from Howard Cosell. That would be good. That would make him a lousy actor. You, you, you know, you look just like Leon Ames, sir. You know Leon Ames? Leon, he does look like Leon Ames. So I gave him the right answer. You. Very good. Score is tied one to one. Okay, Colonel. The uh, director said, how did you come to be such a terrible actor? And the star said, easy, I took lessons from you. Now, well, you I say? think we've all learned a lot from Sonny Bono, so I put Sonny Bono. Sonny Bono. <laughs> Hi, Sonny. <laughs> That's well, I just uh, had the misfortune of coming on a plane and seeing a film called Gable and Lombard. Oh, yeah. So I wrote James Brillo. <laughs> He did, he he did Harlow, didn't he? Mm -hmm. yeah. oh. Oh. It's a winner. Yes. From we will get letters First walkout I've done on a plane. <laughs> <laughs> now, what little gem do you offer this time? Your brain isn't working I too good. I know it isn't doing trip. very well, but I'm trying real hard. No, I'm sorry. I said Gypsy Rose Lee. Let's get off of it. <laughs> Gypsy, Rose Gypsy Rose Lee? I know. Well, That's you, another one. Boy, you're going to look terrific before this show is over. One more time. Get it in there. That's a, another no-no no answer the there. The show, Evan knows there's nothing know. else in there. All right. <laughs> one to one to score right now. And we'll go to round two in a moment or so. But right now, we've got some messages we want to pass along. Here they are. Any. All right, now the score is tied one to one. Wendy went first last time, so turn about. It's fair play. You go first this time. You want to hear B, a B? Please. You want B? Okay, Colonel. Charles does not play. Everyone else does. Ugly Edna is so ugly. How ugly is she? Wow. They've rehearsed that. She not only has bow legs, she has bow blinks. That's how ugly she is. All right. Okay. Now, Colonel, Ugly Edna is so ugly, she not only has bow legs, she has bow blanks. It's the only one answer I can give you. Bosoms. Really? <laughs> you got to see that sometime. <laughs> what do you say? I went with the man. I spelled it chests. Chests, okay. <laughs> chests. Yes, right. <laughs> This has been a real education oh, for yes, you, I've hasn't it? Yes, I've learned a great deal. That's yes, right. I, you I just stick around. You, yeah, okay. Nice. Yes. Well, that's my answer. Now, that's a picture of my answer. Can anyone guess what that is? Ear. Ear. No! <laughs> of course it's not ear. It's boobs. <laughs> Bo boobs. <laughs> Looks like a little Valentine heart. Bo boobs. That sounds like a movie star. Yes, Bo boobs. Bo boobs boob starring in... What do you say there? I said she had... Well, you've traveled a great deal, obviously. You said there's only one answer. I said Bo Teeth. Bo teeth, yes. All right, I'm going. Thank you, Battle. Doesn't it warm the cockles of your heart? <laughs> Not really. It's the first time I've been boomed. 
Fine. Uh, happened to have a lot of dental work. Yeah. So I was going to say Bo Bridges. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. I said Bo. Bo Boo. Colonel, what'd you say? Edna is a girl, right? Well, right. <laughs> I just want to get that straight. Right. Okay, and when she fell down, it took four men to carry her out to her breast because she had bowed bosoms. Everybody okay. <laughs> so, Colonel, you did pretty well with that one. Now, Wendy, this is yours. At the restaurant, George's bowl of soup had so many flies in it, before he ate the soup, he had to blank it. <laughs> bowl of soup had so many flies in it, before he ate the soup, he had to blank it. Want to buy postcards, soldier? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You've been saving that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, Wendy, uh, at the restaurant, George's bowl of soup had so many flies in it, before he ate the soup, he had to blank it. Ooh, two things. Um, <laughs> one, <laughs> uh, swat it. Swat. What was your second one? Fly, catch it. Catch the flies? Catch, catch yeah. the bowl with me. All right, head. she said swat. Swat? Swat the fly. What? Swat, swat, swat. That's swat. Swat the fly. <laughs> All right, one for one day. Charles? She said swat the flies. Oh, I never thought of that. I said a swat. Oh, oh good again. Five to three. What'd you say, Nancy? I'd rather not answer that question. You, you oh, I, I said she had to spray it. Spray it. <laughs> Thank you. That's one of the possibilities. Yes. Richard? I said strain. Oh. Strain. Get those little raisins out of there. Yeah. What do you say? Does mine count? <laughs> <laughs> yes. We've got I to... said it right. I said swat. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So here we are together around two scores, five to four. We've got a tight game going here. Uh, Jerry, you're ahead, so we're going to ask you to make a selection here. You may have A or B. I'll take B again. B? All right. Let's see what this says. Harry said, my wife, the robber, is a robber 24 hours a day. Every night, she says, blank. <laughs> my wife, the robber, is a robber 24 hours a day. Every night, she says, blank. All right? <coughs> All right, put it in the slot. Put it in the slot, Nancy. Oh, I'm sorry. So and away myself. we go. go ahead. Harry up. said, my wife, the robber, is a robber 24 hours a day. Every night, she says, hands up. Hands up. <laughs> All right. He said hands up. What do you say, Nancy? hands up. Well, this is the equivalent. What is it? I said stick them up. Stick them up. Okay. So you've matched everybody now. You can rest on your laurels. And you... I can't rest on mine. You have four. <laughs> frick and frack Frick and frack are the only two playing. Trick or treat are working. I shall kneel between you. Oh, okay. I should think well, you. Yeah. Just a you need to know. Tarzan say, me not play poker with my monkey no more. Me just find out him blank. <laughs> me not play poker with my monkey no more. <laughs> me just find out him blank. Mm. Go north, young man. I right, go north. Over to I Wendy, layman. Hello, Wendy. Hello. You know who Tarzan is, don't you? Sure. He said, me not play poker with my monkey no more. Me just find out him blank. Cheats. Him cheats. Cheetahs. <laughs> him what? Cheetahs. Him cheetahs. Yes. Cheetahs. You little Italian girl, yeah. you say him a cheetah. Yeah, <laughs> no. She say him a cheetah. Oddly enough, my dear, that's exactly what I said. Really? <laughs> cheetah. Okay. Don't write. All right. So now the score is six to five. One more, and you've got a tie score. Hey, a cheetah. Hey, cheetah. Okay. So we do indeed have a tie. We'll tell you what happens when we do get a tie right after we tell you about this. Uh, we're going to play Sudden Death. Now, the first one of you to score a match will be the winner. And here's the way we do it. We have one tie-breaking question. I have it right here with me. And both of you will respond to that question. You'll be playing with our three regulars, Brett, Charles, and Richard. And for this, you two will write your answers, and the celebrities won't write. Okay? Here we go. Get your pencils ready. Fill your... 
Kansas City blank. Kansas City blank. Put them up there now, facing you, right? Okay, they both finished their answers. We're going to call on our regulars one at a time now. And the first one of you who score a match will be the winner. If you hear your answer, sing out or faint or do something, okay? All right, here we go. Brett, we come to you first. What do you yes. say to this? Kansas City blank. Missouri. Kansas City, Missouri. Blank. Nobody's got that. Charles, what do you say to that? Kansas City bomber. <laughs> For the record, what did you have? Kansas City Kitty, you have a seat there. We thank you very much, Colonel Jerry Birch, for joining us. It was a pleasure to meet you. Let's have a nice round of applause for Colonel Jerry Birch, ladies and gentlemen. Now, my dear, it's time for the Big Money Super Match where you can win over $10,000. Now, to do that, we have two audience matches for you, and I want to point out, whatever you win in these audience matches, you'll have a chance to multiply by 10. Here we go with the first one. We polled a recent studio audience, and we got their best response to this. George Washington blank. Okay. The answer they gave most often is worth $500 if you match it, $250 if you match a middle one, and $100 for the bottom one. Whom do you call on for a little help? Richard. <laughs> George Washington slept here. All right, there's one. Charles. George Washington Carver. All right. Okay, and Brett. George Washington Brett. Yeah. Okay, stand on the tape. Okay. Stand on the tape. <laughs> now, there you got a, ch a choice. You got a George Washington Carver, George Washington slept here, and George Washington Bridge. You can choose one or give us one of your own. I better go with Charles because everybody clapped really loud. Carver? <laughs> George Washington Carver was Charles' answer. That's the one we want. Let's find out if it's up there. May we see the $100 response? Bridge is up there. Oh, I thought that was going to be higher up there. I think you got a chance, my dear. Let's find out if uh, George Washington Carver's out of the $250 number. George Washington slept here as Richard. Last chance for Carver. Slide it, Earl. Oh! Congratulations! Very well done. You got $500 now, which means the least you'll be playing for is 10 times that amount, or $5,000. Let's see how much more you can win now with your second audience match. Okay, Earl, let's see it. Sleeping Blank, whom do you call on? Um, oh, go with Richard. <laughs> Sleeping Beauty. Okay. Sleeping Beauty's one. I'm Charles. When Brett plays Sleeping Beauty. What? Sleeping Bag. <laughs> Avery. Avery, have you got one? Sleeping pill. Sleeping pill. Yeah. Sleeping pill, sleeping bad, and sleeping bag, and sleeping beauty. Sleeping bag, you, you're really rotten to the core. You want one of those, pill, bag, or beauty? I'll go with Richard, huh? And go with beauty. Sleeping beauty. All right, let's find out if it's up there. May we see the $100 number? Sleeping pill was one of the responses you got. Sleeping Beauty, are you one of the $250 number? Bag? Well, we got a pill in a bag so far. We need a beauty, we're in business. Let's see your beauty. Yeah! Now you want another $500, we multiply that by 10, which makes five thousand dollars and add that to the previous five thousand dollars you won you got a pot of ten thousand dollars to shoot for now to collect that amount you've got to match one of our celebrities exactly you have to choose one right now <laughs> richard richard's the one sorry stand on the <laughs> adhesive tape why are you sorry because everybody has to pick him <laughs> everybody has to pick on him you're not picking on him he likes his work Good. don't you like your work oh yeah and yeah. i want to win her some money so oh, let's man. do it all right let's we do it, it. <laughs> face the Good mecca luck. over here here it is worth ten thousand dollars and it reads as follows lip blank that's l-i-p blank lip blank <clears throat> now get your esp going wendy and give us an answer that will match Dawson's, and you got $10,000. Lip blank. Being a girl stick. <laughs> it's 
expect a rugged he-man like him to say lipstick. He loves women, I know. He loves women? <laughs> <laughs> Who told you? I see him all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I'd thought of it. I oh. thought of gloss, and then I said stick. <laughs> and there are tears of joy in her eyes. We're very happy for her. Join us next week. We'll have another bundle of cash and a lot more celebrities on Match Game PM. Gene Rayburn here. Goodbye.